Hello and welcome back to The Great Cricketer. Welcome back to YouTube. Welcome back to the internet. You didn't really leave though, did you? It's nice to be back in Ahmedabad. Uh, obviously, those who saw the preview, um, we, we made it over and now we're in a different place, but still in the same in the same place. What? My name's Ian Higgins. I'm joined by Sam Perry. Pezzy lad, welcome back to the fourth test. Thank you very much. Pez, let me run down what happened in the day today. England won the toss. They batted. They got 205 runs. Stokes got some runs, Lawrence got some runs, Axel got some wickets, Ashwin got a couple, and now India find themselves one for 24, or 24 for one, depending how you like your currency. Okay. Shall I give that to you in great terms, sir? It's the only way I understand things. We'll, sp <laughs> we'll spin these coats out. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of people won't know what that means, Pez, and I encourage them to go to Urban Dictionary because the definition is there. But we will spin these coats out. That leads into my first question. We speak to, uh, th speak to three things today. Yep. Uh, and the first one is England's lineup mm. caught the eye, Pez. I thought yeah. caught the eye. Now well, they, they've gone for they've gone for one front line seamer. They've gone for three spinners. If you include Joe Root in that, and I will. Uh, and Dan Lawrence, an is, yeah, and Dan Lawrence is in the side. So that's interesting. Yes. So they brought an extra spinner in. Obviously, uh, it went down with seam, up with Root, and they said obviously England assessed it all, mm. and they thought. Who's most likely to help us arrest this moment? Yes. Grab it by the hands, by the, by the horns, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I know you will. Yeah. Uh -huh. Horns with hands. Yes. Yeah. Hand horns. Yes. <laughs> and who's going to help us secure this, you know, an historic drawn series that yeah. nobody sees nah. coming? And the answer was obvious. Dan Lawrence Dan at seven. Dan Lawrence, seven. Dan Lawrence batting seven. Yeah. That's the selectorial move. That's what we'll do. That England's done. Yeah. And he batted well, to be fair. Yeah, actually, he batted well. In fact, well, yeah. if the rest of them made some runs, yeah. his 46 at number seven wow. would have been quite valuable. As yeah. it turns out, uh, 200 doesn't look good enough. No. And it's a little bit more. I mean, I'm re being really grateful for this series, he goes. Mm. And we can talk our way into it being a real, you know, the culmination, this fourth test. It's sort of a do or die. Yeah. Australia's got some some stake in this yeah. as well. Mm. But it's all a little bit processional already. It, it, it all just felt a bit fate accompli yeah, well, to me. Yeah, well, I've decided to coin this test the decider. What it will decide, I'm not sure, but mm. I feel like I will find some answers in my life and some meaning perhaps. I don't want to put so much hope in, in tests. You know, like I don't want to put so many eggs in the basket, but this this test will actually solve a, a lot of things for me personally and yeah. privately. Okay. Yeah. Well, I look forward to exploring that over the next, what, two or three days or however long India needs to win yeah. this game. <laughs> Another couple of sessions. Another couple we'll of it. sessions. Now I think. It. Now we spoke. At, we spoke at length last test, Pez, about England's. They went for three seamers in that t in that test, and that was a, that was a weird thing to do. And now they've turned up, and they think, well, you know, we're, we're only here for another week, and then we get to go home. Um, let's just put let's just put a team out. Let's just put a team out because I don't. We don't know what it's going to do. Now Stokes is opening the bowling, and even though he's a good bowler, it looks weird. It looks it weird. It doesn't look right. The strides looked wrong. The strides looked wrong. It didn't look like an opening bowler stride. Now Ben mm -hmm. Stokes, probably the most valuable player in international cricket. Perhaps. Across formats, etc. There is an argument to be made. You can make one value. He'd be in the conversation. He, that's right. If you're having a conversation, and we often do. Mm, over it's carrot cake. It's a media channel, <laughs> of course. The, the, the obvious accompanying food to that kind of conversation, <laughs> carrot cake. <laughs> what are we having today, boys? Carrot cake. Well, I know what we're talking about. Exactly. Yeah. But he still looks strange opening the bowling. The strides were too long. His hair was flopping around. Yeah. His arms didn't look tight and fast. No, 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 so no, it was no. all a bit swingy and mm. let's get him out. Let's mm. get Bess in. Mm. So I think yeah. they looked They looked at the wicket and they thought, well, I, I, don't, I don't really know. We'll just play one seamer now. But they're picking that. I don't know who's picking these teams or why they're picking these teams. It doesn't seem right is to there me. A team, is there an England team? I don't know. There's an England team. Is there team? an arrangement of an England team that know. does defeat India? Because I just feel like whichever way you cut this, mm -hmm. you cut that kangaroo cake that Rahane refused yeah. to cut, but we know what he wanted to do. We know what he wanted to do. To do. Uh, they want to knife some people at the back of the sheds. India, India, India will sort you out. If mm. India win the toss today, they don't make two hundred. Uh -uh. I'll give you the tip. Thank you. Okay, for free. I'll receive this that time. Tip, yes, they don't mm. make two hundred. Uh -uh. Pitch mm. talks boring, mm. but I thought the pitch like the pitch was served up to European sensibilities. Well, this it just time. it just nipped around a little bit, and I thought yeah. that'd be interesting. I'm looking forward to watching Archer abroad bowl. Well, with I know, I, Stone, and I know let's, your second talking point. Yeah, is. England make 200. England England, make, England's innings. England's innings. So let's go through England's innings Okay, here. So we're confronted with a pitch that was catered to European sensibilities. And mm. by that I mean we saw all the signals. Hard, bouncy, mm. carry. Mm. Um, the pitch talked a language that we understand. Yes. Uh, the ball was the right colour again. The, the pink thing was scaring us. It was yeah, too yeah. fast off the surface. So we had all lacquer. sorts of problems. Mm. It didn't have unfamiliar behaviours. Still three for 30. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. And you know, it's because Siraj has come in because yeah. Boomer is preparing for his nuptials. <laughs> I was going to go get ready for a wedding. And now I'll tell that's you, club cricket. Now, Jasper, marriage is a state of mind, brother. Sure. It doesn't matter. But you do you. You got you do what you got to do. He's got to do what he's got to do. So we'll bring in Siraj, yeah. who town him up. Siraj bowled beautifully. Yeah. And, you know, that's why no one's saying we're going to get you at Edgebaston. Yeah. Because I think he's going to go there and, and we might learn a few things there too. I saw Ian Bell had some comments about uh, he's, he thinks he'll be handy with the juke ball. Let me tell you, he was handy with the kookaburra. Yeah. He's doing it with the SG. He's probably going to be okay with the he jukes. Was, uh, he was hurrying them up. Yeah. He well, was hurrying he, them up. The ball that he got Bairstow with was 146 clicks. Yeah. That's, that's fast. He, he seemed to bowl at a pace that didn't even really um, capture the, the hurry that he had with the batsman yeah, as well. Yeah, he yeah, he yeah, seemed yeah. to be one of those ones who nips it through a bit mm. more quickly. Uh, and... Uh, hurrying it through and then a bit lippy too. Uh, yeah, he was giving it. There was, was a bit going it, on. Giving it to everyone. Yeah, he got into Stokes. Yeah. That's a risky business, that is. It is. And I don't want to just bend the knee to India at all times because my thought with that, I, I thought Stokes' facial expressions were a bit bemused. I was like, what is, what's yeah. doing here? Do you know who I am? You just, but it's not even, it was just like, what's 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 going on? Yeah. And then I noticed the dynamic was, and I've seen this all through like Crick Bars and Crick Info and stuff. Then Coley steps in mm. and the spin seems to have been like Coley coming into defence Siraj. Now, guys, that's not the dynamic when the opening quick with the new pill mm. is hurrying you up and bumping you. You don't then need your captain to defend yeah. you. Yes. Because I don't, I didn't, I mean, Stokes might have said a few things back like fuck off or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's entitled to do that. Some sort but of witticism. Yeah. Mm. He's some, yeah. Graham Swan said, you know, it's always you for me. Saying, Stokes just said hello. Yeah. Don't like that. Yeah. I wish Swan just told us what he said. Yeah. What do you say, Graham? <laughs> Stokes just told him to fuck he off. He said, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, let's have it. Let's have it. That's what happened. So I didn't really understand. And then Coley's getting involved and mm. stuff. And I don't know. Okay, do, do what we got to do. But he's not, uh, he doesn't need to defend him. He's opening quick. And yeah. he's actually running through the well, team. Now, now Coley's main role in this series seems to be how close, how close he can get down to, to one before he does the T. Yeah. Because when you know when he's going to review with like eight, no, 12 seconds left. And he's got one eye on the scoreboard being like, uh, wouldn't mind a bit more camera time. He's maximising camera time. He's maximising camera yeah. time. You know what? And I've seen that play before. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, uh, wait, hey, I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's deep in discussion with, the, with slips and, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. pants and stuff he's, like that. It's he, white noise. He ain't he hearing almost, shit. And he almost reviews, his, he almost forgets that he's got to review it. Yeah. Was, oh yeah, by the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we're doing it, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. And then he usually, he usually gets it wrong. Now the, the bear started dismissal was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, because I reckon I reckon the umpire gave it out caught behind. Me too. Uh, but but he didn't hit it. But it was just nicking the stumps. So it's it's a, it's a weird. You know what I love? I think cricket needs a weird anomaly uh, for oh, a law. It needs more, if yeah, anything. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Some, something to be quite confusing. Far to, too simple. Describe describe to a lay person. Yeah, yeah. it is far too simple. It's yeah. too simple a game at the moment, mm. especially the LBW law, and mm. it is a law. It's not a rule. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Yes. The umpire calls, and if half the balls, it was the umpire. Got and the Johnny ball, was so. in. He was in contravention of the law. Yes, and he was dismissed. We always hold a counter for. It. Look, England. Uh, mm. They 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 nearly got themselves there. They even got themselves to a spot where I thought they were sort of five for one sixty odd at yeah. T, and I was like, oh, post T run or something like that. Like post yeah. T runs in mm. grey cricket terms. Yeah. that's where all the Best runs are. Best time to bat. Post <laughs> yeah. T. Yeah, India might be a bit different. Well, Travis Head um, played uh, played a grey game for his, his club side. And that's the reference point. That's right. And yeah. uh, he he's a test player, obviously, and he decided about six. Uh, for his club side, so he's just getting runs after T. So that's what we so we're thinking best time to bat. Here we go. Stokes was the pick with the bat. He made he was fifty odd. He did mm. well to see off Siraj, I thought. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Washi. Washi came in with with, mm. with an extraordinarily mm. skillful arm ball. It was perfect. The, mm. the way it curved um mm. he doesn't bowl it so that it so that uh it's it's like a swinger. That's like the what the old arm ball used to be. They actually yeah, yeah, managed yeah, to yeah. rotate the seam yeah, yeah. and then get it to slide off. It was that was a really, really good ball. Can we talk about the con the conversation seems to be that like, well, now England haven't played well in this test, but it's been hard to tell it's been kind of hard to tell if England have been playing badly in the last two games, such as being like the conversation or maybe that's kind of like um, you know, spin or whatever, pardon the pun. About but 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 this this test they've been poor. But at the same time, the whole conversation about like well, it's been missing the straight ones. Why do you think that is? Like the bowling is fucking so good, and the skill of it is exactly. so good. These guys aren't just fucking idiots who are turned up yeah. with a bit of plywood. Oh, we'll just have a hit. Yeah, we'll, they don't we'll give you guys a game for a month. The the implication when you talk about missing a straight one is yeah. that 
batters presume everything is straight yeah. unless it moves. Yeah. You are facing a spin bowler. Spin bowler. It, 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 is, it gets its meaning mm. against the context of what you think it's going to do. Yes. Oh, no, and I've always said that. Yes, I know That's you have That's not going to be on my that. tombstone. No, well, I've seen your tattoo. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> The long time. No, so I mean, this is why I say anyway, you <laughs> slice the English side with the yeah. kangaroo cake. Kangaroo cake, which uh, is made of carrots again. It, once again. It's a carrot cake. It doesn't matter. They are, they've been outskilled by spin. Yeah. And it's like, it's yeah. the oldest fucking story in cricket yes. when you go to India. Yeah. Can you play spin? No. All right. Yeah. Go home. Yeah. That's what's happened. Play the four tests. Play the four tests. Yeah. Take the broadcast money, etc. Don't yeah. say anything bad about it. Yeah, so no, yeah. Just that be sort careful of stuff. That, yeah. Modi Stadium. It's all good. Coley, good player. Nothing wrong with the pitch. Okay. Should get some runs. What are we calling this stadium? After me? Got here. <laughs> Someone suggested in the comments yesterday that um, when we had uh, we were in our meta bad yesterday. Yeah, that that's the right. bridge behind us was that's the right. Modi Bridge. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, if you are watching, you're up respect, I guess. No, nah, he's busy. He's busy naming stuff after himself. Um, England, yeah. England's partnerships, last three okay. partnerships were 48, uh, at once at 48, 43, and 45. That's someone right, that's go, right, that's someone right. Someone had to go on. Yeah, they, that, Will yeah. McPherson tweeted that. No, right. uh, he, he was right. Yeah. Ollie Pope was looking good, using his feet like yeah. Mark Waugh. Yeah. Um, and then some say he was unlucky with the way he got out. No, um, still false shot. So uh, mm. Dan Lawrence looked good. His shirt was out when he was batting. Why? Yeah. Uh, I just enjoyed, I've just been really grateful for this series, and I enjoyed the soothing pace of today. So you've already given up much like it feels like England already have, sort of. Like, I just oh, well, I, I'm just feeding off their vibe. Yeah, okay. I mean, you're I, a vibe feeder. Once again, that's the other tattoo on my <laughs> on this chest. Oh, yeah, this on my right pec. Okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, yeah, I, just, I just had a. It uh, just has a pr- uh, processional feel to this. Just the way they. What? I'm thinking about your I'm a vibe feeder tattoo. I'm a vibe now. feeder. Yeah. And what was the other one? I, Everything gets its context from its meaning or some other. <laughs> I forgot shit. you had that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it wasn't heart attack cricket, which the last two tests have been. It wasn't yeah. Like fucking everything. England, England have been confronted by the pitch, but they, have, they weren't affronted mm. like they were in the other two tests. Confronted, is, not affronted. That's right. I like it. Uh. You see Sharma at the end. They, 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 also, they lost a wicket. They lost Shuman Gill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jart. Yes. Hey? Is oh, he, yeah. Is he's he? a Jart. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. okay. Oh, I did some research we about, about what's going on with him and uh, Sachin Tendulkar's daughter. Oh, yeah, There's some rumors about them dating. Yeah. yeah, right. Is it Sarah? Sarah, Sarah. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. Yeah, Sarah. Sarah, I think. Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Oh, it could be Sarah. Yeah, I don't know. He's a Jart. Okay, Warrior right. class. Warrior class. Yeah, we yeah, learned yeah. something about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let us know. Yeah. Uh, always good just to wait in on something culturally you don't really understand. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's out. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> he kicked one in front of leg. But then I just saw, like like uh, <laughs> and Anderson was bowling and sh- like Rohit Sharma was just like, <laughs> yeah, it was extremely solidified that core. His that base. his average in India is getting disgusting. No, no, that's that's it is. It's disgusting. Mm. It's, it's his average is revolting in yeah. India. It's. I'm affronted by it. Yes, not confronted. No, I'm not confronted. I'm confronted by his away batting average. I'm affronted. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I think we answered the third one. He's 205. Good. Yeah. I don't think so. No. Nah. I'm going to jinx it again. It's mm. big runs for Cole. Nah, it's different to jinx for Hane, isn't it? Indeed. Yes, okay. Indeed. He's cutting cakes. <laughs> Gun kangaroo cakes, carrot cakes. <laughs> First hashtag RCDC. Yeah. If you've got a question for us, hashtag RCDC in the comments below. We'll answer it on tomorrow's show. Uh, Abby Manu writes in. Now, uh, we've also, the exclusive audio comes out of this on our Patreon page, Pez. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find a link for that in the description below, patreon.com forward slash great cricketer. And uh, so these these uh, RCDCs are from there, if you'd be so kind. Abby Manu writes in and he says, hashtag RCDC, would you rather... Never be injured, but your form be up and down throughout your career, or be regularly injured, have a ten-year on-off career, and always play well when available. Inducing internet chatter like "wish he didn't get injured so often, or else he would have taken three hundred test wickets." Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not relevant to the game, interesting. but interesting. I mean, my first uh, thought as a father is, I'd, I just like, I just, I want to know what the injury is because I don't want to sustain injuries for the rest of my life. I'm just thinking about my future. Okay. Is it knees? Am I waking up sore? Mm. You know. But I realize that's not the spirit of the question. Mm. I want to be the second one. I want to succeed when I play, yeah. and then I want people to wonder what else it could have been. And it's like, mm. hey, all I, it's, it, it might be a bit of a Ryan Harris thing to that as well. You okay. know, yeah. like it's like, oh, just always performs, but yeah. just the knees. Well, he's a man with no knees now. And and we've met Ryan and know him, and he, he struggles with his knees. Yeah. Again, it's not the spirit of the question. No, but it's yeah. not. I, 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 I want that. I want to go to. I want to be that person at the pub. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I want the boy. I want. I want people getting around me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Man, absolute superstar. Man, how's it? How's the shoulder? How's the? How's the Rocky Boulder? <laughs> <laughs> how's the Rocky Boulder? Yeah, it's all right. I want. I want the. I'm taking the highs and lows. 
because I, you know, just want to play. I'm a man of vice, as you yeah, know, yeah, and yeah. I like the highs, the lows less so. That's but a, yeah, that's a le- that's a far more moral, um, upstanding position. It's not, like I just write, I just want to live life. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Will Cuxon writes in, says, boys. I'm going to I'm going the absolute Ellie Crow here, and I'll ask how long until we see an Indian second eleven granted Test status. England is two for fifteen as I write this, and Axar Patel averages something like eight with the ball in Test cricket, but somehow he wouldn't get in the side of Jadeja we're playing. Good question, Will. So how long? How long before India India A get in get a gig? Well, we've always hypothesised that India probably don't even need international cricket soon. They enough. probably don't. They probably and don't. And so that might be the first step along the way. Yeah, mm. I'll give it two years. A couple of years. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll give it two years. I looked at uh, they might actually go to the World Test Championship against New Zealand and roll out an entirely new team <laughs> for that and win. Take the 23s over. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at Axar Patel's first-class stats because I was like, because he's 27. I was yeah. like, where's what, this bloke been? What have you been doing? And what do your yeah. eyes look like? Because I've never seen them. Never seen the eyes. Man with no eyes. Mm. Maybe that's part of the uh, the magic act. Yeah, well, he is selling potions at the back of the stadium, as we know. Is he? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He averages twenty five in first class cricket. Okay, he was so that's what gives. That's fine. No, it's good, but like it's it's not. You average nine point three yeah, with the ball now. Yeah, every time I play Test cricket, I get a five. I think he's gone above ten now, and I'm just because that's going to be in the comments. Oh yeah, well yeah. that'd be good. Yeah, cricket's good like that. Oh well, actually, I think you'll find. Yeah, fucking hell. Again, I was hearing Graham Swan go like, "Oh, he'll be he'll hate that he's gone to double figures for his average." Yeah. Probably doesn't know he's gone in. I reckon he's pretty happy with how he's going. Yeah. And also, Graham, just tell us what Stokes said mm. to Siraj. Just be tell real us with that us. he said fuck off. Just and fuck then off. you're gonna watch the audience yeah. fucking climb. Yeah, respect. Cricket. We're all adults here. Except when we're not. Yeah, except yeah. Except when we lose. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey, we'll be back tomorrow for the last day of this test series. Uh day two. It's got quite a lot's happening. Um so join us tomorrow right here on the Great Cricketer on YouTube. Please do like and subscribe and get around us that way. We'll be back tomorrow. See you then.